is mostly a 25 <laughs> Hi, I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for tuning in today. Joining me is Alain Cohen, uh, VP of Software and Solutions for OCZ Technology. Thanks for joining us, Alain. Thank you, George. Hey, you know, obviously SSD is a big, solid state, flash, everything is a big driver to our website. Uh, people are always trying to get more information on it. Uh, one of the big things I think people struggle with is how do I get the absolute most out of whatever I'm buying in flash to make sure I'm getting the best performance for the best dollar. And I know that you guys are doing some things with uh, software and hardware as a combination to make that uh, easier to get to. Is that right? Yes, that is very much so. We've taken a look at what happens inside the hardware and what the software does to make the best benefit from the flash. And when you look at it and when you divide it between the things that the hardware do and the software do, you see that they're really doing two things that together in combination really give you that effect of the flash in your environment. So from the hardware perspective, you really want to make things happen as fast as possible and get as much IOPS as possible into the flash and from the flash to the application. To do that, you want your latency to be as low as possible, so obviously things are getting answered real quickly. You also want parallelism. You want to make sure that if you have multiple applications, such as you would have in a virtualization environment or such as you would have in a large database, all of that can happen at once. The higher your parallelism and the lower your latency, the better your hardware aspects of the flash are because you're getting more IOPS out there. Okay. But that is only one aspect of making flash really useful. If you're getting to the flash fast, but the information that is in the flash is not the right information, that is not helping you at all. So in other words, if I still have to go to a hard disk, it didn't do me any good at exactly. all. Exactly. All that performance. If, okay. if your hit ratio is low, if the application is asking for data and that data is not in the flash, mm -hmm. then you have not helped the system. Gotcha. On the software side, you really want to make sure that the right data is up there in the flash and that it's there at the right time. So things such as hot zone detection, which allows you to make sure that the data that you're accessing is the hot data that is being needed right now by the application. Seeing things such as sequentiality detection, mm -hmm. which allows you to make sure that the application is not doing some background scan that is not useful for the information that it is collecting, and hence you do not want that information inside the flash. Things like looking at command sizes and seeing whether these are large commands, whether these are small commands, whether these commands are random right now or not, are the things that will help you determine the right data to put in the flash. And that is really what the software is doing, making sure that the hit ratio is high and that therefore the right data is on the flash when the application requires it. Okay, so that way it's there and you're going to it'll take full advantage of the performance. Exactly. Okay. But what a lot of the time people don't realize is that if the architecture is not done correctly, if the hardware and software don't work tightly together, there's a catch-22 here. Because the more time software is spending on determining what data to put in the flash, that can have an impact on the data path and how many IOPS you can therefore get to the flash. So if you're not architecting the hardware and software to work tightly together in a way that the software is not impacting the IOPS, there is a catch-22 here and you're liable to either make too simple a decision and therefore get data that is the wrong data on the, the flash, mm -hmm. or make spend too much time on making that decision and therefore impact the time that you can get to the flash. Okay, so in that instance, the, the flash would essentially still be waiting on the, the caching software or whatever to, to load it up, essentially. Exactly. Okay, and then what you're also saying, I guess, is that this can't just be any old... Uh, software product uh, from anywhere, the, the value of, uh, in your guys' world, you guys writing this is that you also know the hardware you deliver and you can make that coupling uh, more tight? Exactly. Okay. So when we looked at this and we saw how these two can work together, 
without impacting the performance of each one of them, we came up with this new architecture that, call, that we call direct pass caching. And what direct pass caching is essentially dividing those two workflows in the way that is most efficient, stemming from the fact that we can tightly connect the software with the hardware. Okay. And the way that we do that is that we have two modules. One module is doing the inspections for the heat ratio and a different module that handles the driver and the streamlining of the data path. Now we have an API of these two modules talking to each other, but in a way that does not impact the data path. So the software can make the best decision, which are application specific, and take all of these into account, but they can do that out of band, and we are still able to communicate with the data bath element that makes sure that we're getting to the data as fast as possible. So you gain the best of both worlds when you optimize these two together. You can still make a very high level of decisions that are application optimized and take all of the information that you have into the account, mm -hmm. But you do that while at the same time streamlining the data path because you're letting these two elements talk out of band, making sure that although this guy knows what to cache and when to cache it, he can still do it in a very streamlined, streamlined low latency, highly parallel way. Okay, so basically you're not sacrificing uh, data path performance for uh, cache I.O. type of analysis, is that right? Exactly. So, Alon, uh, you know, obviously we followed OCZ for a while. I mean, you guys have had some excellent caching software and, and uh, actually a pretty robust software stack for a while. And, of course, you've been known for uh, solid-state hardware for a while. How is this, uh, how is this different and how is it coming together in a product? That's a good point, George. We are now introducing a new product called the ZD Excel SQL Accelerator. And that product is a solution that includes the hardware and the software in it integrated in the way that I've just described. Essentially, when the IT manager gets the solution, he has the hardware and the software already combined inside. He plugs it in and we are able to produce the optimized selections for SQL Server that will make sure that the right data for that implementation is on the flash and at the same time he can get to that data with the highest IOPS possible. Okay, so that, that's really interesting because that means that the SQL administrator or SQL manager that's having performance issues doesn't need to suddenly also become a flash expert. You put that in the box for him and then all he does is install it in and they're ready to go. He'll install it in, he's ready to go. We will even have implementation wizards within the product that will guide the DBA into what data he can place on the flash and the correct best practice way to have that optimization for him. Okay, well that's really fascinating. Alon, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you, George. I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for tuning in.